Okay, so we went to Home Depot. We picked up the Ryobi 18 volt one plus whisper series uh, misting fan. And I just wanted to get it out of the box real quick so I can get the battery charging so we can try this out. I'm going to set the box in the floor and pull stuff up into the chair so you can see it as I do. But as you see, there's the instruction manual, some warranty information, to register your warranty, here's your battery. Something or another. Now this comes with the smaller battery, so if you want this thing to run for a longer amount of time, you're going to want to get a bigger one. But this is the charger that comes with it here. Here is the fan. Pretty good size. And I'm going to take it if the battery is inside here. Yes. I think the side flips. There we go. Get that, pull that off of your contact points. But it's a 18 volt lithium 1.5 amp. I think you can get like a 5 or 6, 5.6 amp to fit in here. Waterproof cover, your mister points, you have your high low. Oh, that battery's got some juice to it. That's low fan. High fan, pretty quiet. And we'll play with the misting function here in a little bit. Stay tuned. So I just got finished charging the battery and I started charging it 10 minutes till one and it's now 10 minutes till five so it took four hours total to charge this battery to 100 percent from the factory i think it had like one bar from the factory so we'll see if that continues to play out like that and we'll see what kind of runtime we get off of it when we start testing it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I have a bucket of water. And I just went in and got the Roby Mr. Fan. It took me four hours to charge this battery from factory, what it had in it. It's got two buttons on the side that you squeeze, but you just push it in. It's got a waterproof cover on it. And then up under here, you can either hook it to a water hose, or you can use like I'm going to do with this bucket, and you put this filtered in into the water. And then you just set it on the bucket. Now I don't want it blowing directly on our chairs because we don't want to get wet. So I'm thinking the wind's kind of blowing this way. That if I blow it and the wind comes through it, that should cool down the, the air. So let's just put the fan on high. And then I'm going to put the mist on low. Oh, let's go high. Let's see how long it's blowing, blowing water already. And y'all should be able to see that in the video.
So it's blowing this way. I can see mist coming back just because the wind's blowing through it. I can feel the mist sitting here. So the wind is blowing and circling the mist everywhere. That's pretty nice. It definitely is cooling down the air. So let's turn this off for just a minute. My thinking is if it's really hot, you put ice in the water. So I'm going to go get some ice and put it in the water. I don't know the uh, thermometer would show the difference in the temperature or not. Okay, I set a temperature gauge over here. It says it's 84 degrees and 86% humidity. Pretty high humidity right now. Let's put this back on high. Yeah, it's blowing mist all the way past the steps. Yeah, I think you're going up. So it's 86 now. A little more in there. Right now I don't have much of a cross breeze. Most of the moisture is over there. I can see it. I have not added ice to it yet. Now I may actually have to put this in the direct path of the fan to see any difference, if any at all. The humidity is falling. It's 80% now. You would think it would go up. It's actually getting hit with moisture now. There's moisture dripping off the gate. The temperature gauge is soaked. Humidity just dropped to 78. Temperature is staying the same. There's a breeze blowing through and I can feel it's cooler. Now if I had on some swim trunks and I put my chair into this mist, you're definitely going to cool down quite a bit. So it don't look like the temperature reading is falling at all with the water hitting it. Seventy nine percent humidity, eighty six degrees. It just dropped two degrees. It's 84 degrees now. So I'm gonna let this blow just like this for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bucket of ice and then we'll see what happens. 84 degrees, 80% humidity. Remember it was 86 just a minute ago. Oh, it's definitely cool when you walk through it. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. We're at 82 degrees, 79 percent humidity, so now two more degrees. Have a little ice for that baby and see what happens. We was down to 82 when I, before I put the ice in. Water dripping off that gate over there. So if you're going to sit in it, you're going to want some clothes that you don't mind getting soaked. I can feel a breeze coming through it. And every now and then you'll see the mist blow this way. It's pretty comfortable. That's going to cool that water down. So I expect to see probably another two degree drop. I can feel the mist, the wind's blowing it this way. It feels good. And sitting here, it's not so much that I'm going to get soaked. Dropped a degree, it's 81 now. Remember, we was at 86, now we're at 81. And that is in the water. Get quite a bit of the mist right now, the wind's blowing it this way. And this whole area, both these chairs, we have another chair here. There's mist coming over here. So if the wind's blowing, working with the fan, you're covering a big area. And it's thinning that mist so it's not just soaking. But if you're sitting in front of it, you're going to get soaked. Up to 85 on humidity, 81 temperature. I'm going to swap to this chair over here. Chair is damp, but not wet. Nice cool breeze. So we up to 90 today. I said it was 86 when I set that down there. It was going up as I brought it out because it's inside. Oh, that feels really good. Nice breeze. I can already tell you, this is something for camping in Texas heat that's going to make a difference. And if you don't want the mist, it's a fan. So as long as you have air moving, air blowing on you, that helps. But you add the mist. That cools the air down, cools you down, so that's a plus. And when I'm out camping, I've always got my swim trunks with me. So I'll throw those on and I'll sit right in that bad boy if it's really hot and I want to be outside. I can see the kids playing in this too. If you have little kids, a way to entertain while you're at the campsite. I kind of wonder what it would do if you have the mist blowing on the side of your, the hot side of your camper. Would it cool it down some? Still 81 degrees, 88% humidity. I am on high mist, high fan. Let's go to low mist. I turned it off. There's low mist. Honestly, if you're sitting like this, I'm thinking low mist is all you're going to need. If you're wanting to cover a bigger area, then high mist. I've watched videos on this too. Now, the battery that comes with this is, uh, I think it's 1.5. And you're probably going to get an hour or two out of it. I haven't timed it yet. I will. But I've seen the 
the six amp was like eight hours. So you can upgrade the battery, get a little more use out of it. The way we are though, we probably go outside for an hour or so, hang out. Then we go in and play a game or something, so we or go swimming or hike a trail. So put the battery on the charger, charge it up, and then when we come back if we want it again, pop the battery in and start it back up. It feels cooler sitting here than it did over there. Still 81 degrees, so I'm thinking 81 degrees is as low as we're going to go. have rain moving in the night, so kind of cloudy now. Most of the water is going to the steps. Still holding at 81. So you're looking at five, six degree difference. Let's take this out of the water. Oh, it just dropped to 79. See, it got wet. So let's just put this over here. Not on that black. And see if it goes up, being further away from the mist. I can still feel cool air blowing through it. I'm gonna move this over there. Away from the mist. Where I can see it. I'll turn it around if it goes up. I am moving over there because it is cooler over there. Ninety percent humidity, seventy-nine. Breeze coming this way. I feel it. Ninety-one percent humidity, eighty-one degrees. I don't know that the thermometer is proving anything because it's not really moving that much. But sitting by it is a cooler feeling. You feel cooler. 92% humidity over there. Still at 81 degrees. And I said if that was hitting me, let's put it on a low fan, low mist, just turn it toward me. The mist is hitting me. Oh, it feels good. Yes, that feels good. But you're going to want some swim trunks on. Or you're going to get soaked. Eventually. These pants are supposed to be waterproof, so. Honestly, I, I'm thinking low, low, and just blowing it on you, it's gonna be a way to stay cool during the summer. That's plenty. And a lot of it is just, the more sun out, the more it's gonna evaporate. So you may have to go to Maybe low fan and high pump, high walk mist. Let's see. So that works too. A lot more mist. In fact, that's a little bit chilly. 
We're eight two degrees over there. So eighty two degrees. I should about the table too. Regardless of what this says though, it feels cool. A lot of mist coming on high. Here in the backyard, you just jump in the pool, cool down real quick. And then, when you get cold, come over here to this salsa spa and you can get back up. Guys, this is a win 100 bucks, 100 bucks, and you have some relief from the heat. When you're at camp, when you're hanging out in the backyard. Later on this evening, I'm going to have to cook some steaks on the grill. I think I'll carry that over by the grill. So it's keeping me cool while I'm outside. That feels good. It's getting pretty wet, but the temperature hasn't fallen. Now. Maybe there's something wrong with my temperature, baby. Maybe you don't like getting wet. Because it sure feels a lot cooler. Can y'all see the mist in the camera? Just drop the degree. The wind is blowing out here. You see it blowing the mist all over the place. The fan is quiet, so it's not interrupting the conversation. All right, without the sun shining, this could make you cold. That's pretty cool right there. I'm surprised that's not far. I guess it's because I'm wet and the wind's blowing. Feels like air conditioning blown. Well, alright, from my standpoint right now, this thing isn't really showing me that there's much change at all. But, personal touch and feeling, it's a cooler experience sitting in front of it than it is when I'm walking around the yard or if I'm sitting away from it. It's definitely cooler feeling here than away from it. I mean, it actually feels good. This just dropped to 79 degrees and it's in my hand. So you think my body temperature would maybe make it go up? But it did drop a degree. Do I suggest this for camping in the heat and for hanging out in the yard in the heat? Most definitely. It does make for a cooler experience. And we haven't used hardly any water. All right, let me bring y'all in closer. See if I can, y'all see the mist.
I'm hoping y'all can see the mist anyway. It's blowing all the way to this blue chair. You can see that the ground's wet down there. Oh, it feels good. And it's quiet, y'all. There. You can tilt this too, blow it way up in the sky, cover more area. Now that's covering some area. That's going way out there. Lots of water. Put it back on low. That's pretty good. Put this back on low. I think I turned it off. I'm telling you, for just a seating area, probably low, low is going to be just fine. Okay, so y'all saw it worked in the bucket great. With the bucket hose. It comes with this easy storage underneath it. Flip that bad board just like that. Now I told you, you can also hook it up to a water hose. So I'm still going to set it on the bucket, but we're not going to use that. I'm going to hang the cord out the back here. Flip it around. So Y'all can see that I'm hooking it up to the hose. And I'm imagining you're not going to have to turn the water pressure up very high when you turn the water on. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go turn my water on. Okay, guys. You can see that I've got the water hooked up and I just barely cranked the water speaker open and it's blowing mist without even having to run the mister side. That's high. So if you have access to a water hose you can control how much mist is coming out by how much you turn your water pressure on the spigot. And you don't have to use this side. So you're, I would think you're saving time on your battery. Oh yeah. Woo! Give me a bar of soap and a wash rag and I'll take a bath. So the mist is not even turned on. And we got a lot of mist coming out of it just by the pressure of the water hose. So I'm going to go and first thing I'm going to do is turn the fan to low and then I'm gonna go close the spigot just a little bit.
Okay guys, that is as low as I could turn the spigot. I mean, it is just cracked on. So, that's just running fan and pressure from the water hose. The mist side of it is off. So you don't have to run that side off of the battery if you're hooked to a water hose. I hope this helps y'all out. If you're thinking about getting one of these, do I recommend it? Right now, yes I do. Time using it to see how it holds up will be the next phase. And we have a camping trip coming up in a little bit and we will definitely be using this on that camping trip. So stay tuned for that. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And how about a big thumbs up? Thank you. Okay, I'm back. I just turned the water off and the fan is off and you can still see the mist coming out of it. That's just from the pressure that built up in the hose. So I'm waiting for it to bleed off so I can disconnect it. But it just goes to show that the pressure from the water hose is going to make mist. So how wet is the fan? There's a little bit of moisture here, and I have this cocked up a little bit. There's some moisture here, not so much on that side. A little bit up here. So I imagine if this was straighter down, there would be even less moisture getting on the fan. But down here, other than where I dripped on it, it's pretty dry. Wow, I can't believe the mist is still coming out of that. I guess I'm just going to have to turn it off and unhook it because I got other stuff I need to do. <laughs> That's good to know though, man. You just crank it on and turn it off. And you're going to have quite a bit of mist in time. Because that, that hose is off. See what, let's just turn everything off and unhook it. See, there's a lot of pressure still on that. I barely turned it on. And see, it's off. I'm going to go ahead and make sure there's no water left in this. There we go. No more water. And we're done. 